Hello students, Miss Lockhart here. This week we are going to make a textured symmetrical heart using tissue paper and an oil pastel, glue, preferably the liquid school glue, and don't forget lots of tissue paper. You'll also have a piece of mixed media paper, which just means it's a little heavier. And the first step is to fold it in half. Before you fold, make sure your paper is wide and not tall. The best way to fold it in half is to meet the corners. And you'll notice that I am now making a rectangle. And when you open it up, you have two rectangles and then you have the fold line right down the middle. You're gonna only draw on the right side, on the right rectangle. Now I'm using an oil pastel, but you should use a pencil. Now put your pointer finger at the top of the paper and then make a mark a little dot, then use your pinky from the bottom of the paper to make a dot. Now these dots are gonna connect with a heart-shaped line, which is a cur curved line that then becomes diagonal and heads toward the bottom dot. You'll be using a pencil, so you can always try again if you don't like your first mark. And don't forget, you can pause the video. The next step is to use your oil pastel and go over your line, like I just did. But you're gonna go over it twice so that you have a nice thick line. Once you've done that, you can create a pattern around, around your heart. You can follow along and do the same pattern I'm doing, which is just lines that come out from around the heart. Notice I'm only drawing on the right side. Do not draw on the left side. You'll see why in just a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue these lines now to the very edge of the paper. It's kind of fun. And you can create your own pattern, like I said, or follow along with me. But be sure you only draw on the right side because this is the next step. You can fold your paper back and to use the bottom of your glue or something that's kind of sturdy and plastic and go over all of your oil pastel lines and press down as hard as you can and really try to go over those lines a few different times. The heart lines and then your pattern lines around the heart. And the more you go over it, and with the harder pressure, the better the new transfer line will be. And you will see what I mean in just a moment. And if you don't see your transfer line right away, you can go back over your right side again with oil pastels to make it thicker. And then you can try pressing down a little harder, but you can see mine, can't you? It's a very faint, which means light line, but it's the exact same line I drew on the right. So that means it's symmetrical because it's the same on both sides. Now, I wanna trace back over that light line so that it matches the one on the right. And that is what you can do as well. Now don't forget, if it didn't work the first time, you can always go back over the side, the right side again with your oil pastels so that it's thicker and then fold and then press the paper down again. And then you can trace over the light lines. Yay, okay, so now that both sides are traced over, we are about ready for our next step. Now you might have more pattern around your heart Maybe you even did something inside the heart. What we'd like to do now is use our tissue paper and glue to create texture. So let's make sure your glue is open and ready. So you're going to be putting glue all over the left side and the right side. And this might be one of the only times I might say use a lot of glue. Usually we just do dot, dot, not a lot but it'll be really nice to have a lot of glue because the tissue paper then will stick to it very easily. It's just kind of fun to use a lot of glue. Just stay inside the heart. Okay. Now just how we folded the paper before to transfer the oil pastel over, we're gonna fold it again to transfer the glue over. But don't leave it closed once you Fold it, because if you leave it closed, the glue will stick. And you don't want the glue to actually stick to the other side. You just want it to move over to the other side. And then look here, when I open it, 
there I have it, lots of glue. Now, if you prefer to just glue one piece of tissue at a time, that is fine too. This is just a fun way to cover the heart with glue. I fill in the space that I missed. And now my heart is ready for tissue paper. So look at this, I'm just grabbing a square piece and I'm gonna kinda just crumble it up and fold it and crumble it. There's no real perfect way to do this. You just kind of ball it up and crumble it. If you would like, you can leave it a little less crumbled or you could even cut your tissue paper into small shapes if you would like it to be more flat. I'm gonna let you decide how you wanna use your tissue paper. It's gonna create texture no matter how you use it. I love texture. So I'm gonna crumble these up so that my tissue paper is soft when I touch it at the end. It's gonna be great. But it's not just soft, is it? It's kind of crinkly and a little bit rough. Sure is fun to make though. So continue crumbling up your tissue papers and you can arrange them however you'd like. I recommend not putting the exact same color side by side so that you have a variety of different colors instead of all of the red being in one spot or all of the blue in one spot, spread them around. And you might find that your glue gets a little bit dry, which is fine because you can just add some more if that's the case. So have fun creating texture. We are going to finish filling the whole inside of the heart with tissue paper. Okay, I hope you have fun and enjoy crumbling up the tissue. I think it's so much fun. And keep that tissue inside the heart. See how I just folded mine over because it kind of reached outside the heart line. Just fold it right into the heart line. And you have made a symmetrical heart with symmetrical pattern, which means the heart is the same and the pattern is the same on both sides, just like a symmetrical butterfly. Okay, everyone, thank you for following along and keep filling it in until you're done. I cannot wait to see how these turn out and we're gonna spend a little bit more time on the background next class. We're gonna paint the background symmetrically. So stay tuned and go ahead and finish this step by filling in the heart and hold on to your artwork for next week so that we can finish it. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. Bye now.